Hello, I'm Rachel Piper. Welcome to my channel, Size Diverse Pilates, where I'm trying to make Pilates more accessible to the larger population. Today, this is just an intro. So you'll see me like this, and then you'll see me in partial workout. So what happens every month in my teacher training program is that we do a virtual mat class, and I usually do it themed on what my trainees are working on, what questions they have about um, helping their practice clients, or just something in general that I know comes up. And in most cases, all of the things are either um, meant to help them practice in their own practice, practice teach, or how to make things more accessible to the larger population. So um, what I did was is that I just cut up the video of the virtual mat into a couple of sections. They're 10 to 15 minute sections. And I figured I could throw them on YouTube and people could go ahead and experience them. Not from a you know teacher trainee standpoint or a teacher standpoint, but these are meant to be exercises that trainees can give to anyone at any level. So don't think because I said that this was for my teacher trainees that you won't be able to do it. This work should be very accessible. So you'll see in the video that I am using the balance body arc, which is like a spine corrector. You don't need a spine corrector. You don't need the arc. You don't even need a barrel. You can use a king size blanket. You can use a bolster. Um, in one of the in one of the videos, I say you can pop a couple of yoga blocks underneath your bottom. Um, so use what you have to create a side bending shape. So you're just going to need something over here to be able to side bend in one of the videos and then in the other video, because I'm going to use this intro for both, you're just going to need something high enough to pop it underneath your hips. So whatever ends up being comfortable for you is what you're going to use. And then these videos will be very accessible to you. So I hope you'll give these a try and let me know what you think on each video. Please like, share, subscribe, because um, that really helps me be able to make these videos and put out more content. So I really appreciate you and uh, let's get to the workout. Sitting in the seat, just know that you're gonna line your hip up to your blanket um, or your barrel since you don't have a seat. I am gonna be a little bit higher and my angle is gonna be kind of an up and over. If you wanna get that sort of sensation, um, you could grab an extra blanket right now and you would put one a little bit taller and one a little bit shorter so that you can kind of go up and over. But we'll sit sort of in a position and if you're if you're in the arc, because I know Jody is, you're just going to line up the center of your hip with the center of your barrel or the center of your blanket and we're going to do a Z sit. So we're just going to have one leg out in front. This leg is coming straight out of my hip. And then the other one's coming down and my legs coming back behind me. And then from here, we're going to take it a little bit slow. We're going to work our sideways. So first thing, just take the arms out to the side and we're going to try and get our hip down to the barrel, but not, not going all the way over. So it's almost like an inchworm where you're going to try and keep this opposite leg down and reach this hip over and then pull yourself back up. Okay. We're gonna do it again, we're gonna go the same spot. You're gonna inhale over and exhale to pull yourself up. So you can see right now that you're using your sideways and you're really trying to balance yourself out and not tip over. Go a little bit farther and then exhale out of it. This top leg, if it feels more comfortable, you can reach it long. And then let's go to that same spot. Maybe we go down a couple of inches and then we pull back up sitting nice and tall when you get to the top, all the way from tailbone to the top of the head. Let's go a little bit further for the next one. So maybe we come down to that rib and then we're pulling ourselves up with our side waist. If you feel like you're pulling too much with your arms, you can bring your hands back behind your head here and then reach that side waist over and pull that side waist back up. Now we're gonna go all the way down really slow. So hit that first spot, hold, hit that second spot and hold, hit that last spot, hold, and then bring the rest of your body, body over into that side stretch. Reach the arms up if they are back behind your head. Take that top arm over. If that's there for you, go ahead and grab with the bottom arm, the top arm here, 
and stretch. Now, if your leg was back behind you and you didn't straighten it, you might want to straighten it now. Maybe reach the leg back behind you. We're going to breathe here for a breath. So nice big inhale and exhale everything back out. Now go ahead, release the hand, bring your top arm straight out of the shoulder. When we come out of the side bend, we're going to start with the top of our head because that's where our spine starts in the cervical spine. So you're going to lift your head up, still looking forward, not looking at the hand and reach yourself up, press the hip down woo, and pull yourself back up to straight. You might want to switch the legs. So we're going to do that again. So we're going to inch from down. You're going to take down that sideways to that first spot, then that second spot, then that third spot. Woo, and then you get to come all the way down and over, reach that arm up and over take the hand, wrap it around the wrist, maybe stretch that leg out. Nice big breath in and out. One more breath like this. Really think about stretching. Inhale and exhale. Everything back out and then release the hand. Bring it up out of the shoulder. Start with that head. Start curling up and reaching up and over nice and tall. Go ahead and bend this leg in. Maybe hold the shin here. Bring the opposite arm up and over into that counter stretch. Nice big breath here. And then sit nice and tall. As you're here in this Z sit, it's kind of a nice place. And if you need to, and if you have a yoga block and you feel like you're too close to the ground right now, go ahead and grab a yoga block, put it underneath your butt. We're gonna do a little bit of a spine twist here. So inhale to center, then exhale, twist towards your barrel or blanket, then inhale center, and exhale the opposite way. Inhale center, and exhale the opposite way. We're gonna do three each side. This is just our time to sort of really seat those sits bones down into whatever we're sitting on and do a twist from the upper body. Just a nice rotation. It's not very often that we start a workout in side bend and rotation. They usually come later. Exhale to your side, last one each side. Inhale center and exhale other side. But sometimes it can be a really nice way to warm up the body and get the body all ready. Plus, you know, just having the arms out sometimes can work those arms. So let's go ahead and switch to the other side. I'm just gonna turn my barrel around so you can still see me. Otherwise, that'll be a long time where you're just looking at my backside. All right, so as you line up on the other side here, you're gonna make sure that that hip is right in the middle of your blanket or your barrel. And again, you can do Z-sit and you can switch it and if you do have a strap available, you can always put the strap underneath your top leg and reach into that top leg. We do that when we get to reform our work and do a side sit up, so it is good practice to do it here. So let's go ahead, start with the arms out. We're just gonna come down to that hip, so that very first spot. If it's harder on one side versus the other, totally normal. And then reach back up. If you have any cramping or something doesn't feel quite right on this side, then maybe change your leg position. One side might just want to pull up a little bit more. Let's go to that second spot. So we come down to that first spot and then we go just a couple more inches. We hold and then we pull ourselves up with our side waist. And I know we were just using our side waist, but for some reason, when we just turn ourselves to the other side, things get real wonky and that's okay. Now we're gonna come down to about that bottom rib for that third spot. So come to your first spot here, then come to that second spot, then come down to that rib and then pull yourself back up. We're gonna do one more like that. Nice, remember to breathe. Inhale on the way down and use that hot exhale to come back up. Now you might be wondering like, oh, when I go down my knee lifts, 
that's okay. If it didn't on the other side and it does on this side, that's all right. What you're gonna do is when we go over for this next one, if this side is lifting more than the other, you're gonna take the leg long, reach out of the heel and pull it back. And that might stretch out that side. So let's go ahead, hit all three spots and then go all the way over. So first spot, hold. Second spot, hold. Third spot, down to that rib, hold. Now come all the way over. You're welcome, I know. Whew. And then take that bottom hand, reach up, grab that wrist, wrist, and then take the leg nice and long, and maybe take that leg back behind you a little bit. So you can stretch as much as you want to. Here we're gonna do a nice big inhale, and exhale. Then go ahead, release the arms. The top arm comes up out of the shoulder. We're gonna start with our head, so that cervical spine. You're gonna reach up, come all the way up. Maybe bend the leg if you weren't there before and come on up. So we'll do one more like that. So you're gonna reach to that first spot, breathe, come to that second spot and breathe, come to that third spot and breathe and then come all the way up and over. Take that top hand, reach that leg out Again, wherever you need to stretch to maybe get some length here, really, really good. Nice big inhale and exhale. Then go ahead, take the arms away, and then you're gonna reach yourself up. I'm gonna pull my leg back in for this. So I'm gonna start with my head first. Then once my head is in the side bend, I'm gonna reach myself up nice and tall. Go ahead and sit tall here. If you wanna put that block underneath your hips again, go ahead, but we're gonna spine stretch three times each way. Again, we'll go towards the barrel, so nice big inhale to center, and exhale to twist everything out. Then inhale back to center, and exhale the other way. And then try and keep equal weight in those sits bones as you turn even though I know it's a little weird based on what you're sitting on, but the idea is, is that you're trying to equal weight in the hips and then exhale over, inhale center, exhale toward the leg that's bent. Both of them are bent, I guess. <laughs> Words are hard. Inhale center, exhale towards the barrel. Last one each side, inhale center, and then one more, twist, 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 and then come center. Now, hello <laughs> again. So you probably noticed that the video cut off and that's because I did this in sections. Remember I took an entire, entire session I did with my teacher trainees and I split them up into little bits so that you could do just one part or you could put multiple together whatever you wanted to do. So I'm just here to remind you that there are other videos that you can do that have the same exact intro and will have the same outro. Um, and just a reminder for me to be able to put out more videos um, to make things more accessible to the larger population. Uh, I really need you to like, share, and subscribe if you will, please. And um, that's pretty much it. But I hope you had a really nice time with these uh, barrel workouts, no matter what prop you use. If you have any questions about, about the prop that you were using, you can always leave a comment below and ask a question and I will answer you and give you um, some feedback on that.